Hello everyone, this short video shows the process of installing a luminaire with a ceiling mount. So, let's consider the option of fixing the luminaire to the ceiling using a striker or the so-called ceiling bracket. In the case of installing a chandelier on a hook, instead of a bracket, an anchor with a hook is installed on the ceiling, on which the chandelier will be suspended. The first thing to do is to determine where the bracket is to be attached to the ceiling, taking into account that the luminaire cup should hide the electrical wiring coming out of the ceiling behind it. Also, in order to exclude damage to the wires while drilling holes, when marking the mounting holes, it is important to take into account where the electric power wire of the chandelier runs. Sometimes, you can understand where the wires go by using the existing junction boxes, which are usually located on the walls near the ceiling. The wires from the chandelier can go to one of these boxes, located at right angles from the walls and, as a rule, towards the box under which the lighting key switch is located. If you have doubts about the accuracy of determining the location of the wire, you can use a special wiring detector, which will indicate with great accuracy where the wire is located. Having determined the location of the electric wire, aside from it, holes are marked for attaching the corresponding bracket of the chandelier. Having previously turned off the power of the chandelier in the electrical panel, using an electric perforator, holes are made in the ceiling for the dowels. The dowels are inserted into the holes, after which the lamp bracket is fixed to the ceiling using self-tapping screws. Further, in the lamp itself, you need to distribute the wires, which come out in pairs from each horn. If you have a two-button switch, then we divide the lamp wires into three twists. The first blue wire coming from each lamp is twisted into one common bundle, clamped in the terminal block and connected to the neutral wire coming out of the ceiling. In the diagrams, zero is indicated by the letter N. The rest of the wires coming from the lamps are divided into two bundles, due to which, on the two-button switch, separate switching on of different halves of the chandelier is realized. Let's call these two bundles of wires L1 and L2, later I will connect them to the wires coming out of the ceiling on which the phase should appear after pressing the buttons of the light switch. If the light switch has only one button, then the wires coming from the horns are distributed into two bundles of wires, one of which is connected to the neutral wire of the ceiling, and the second to the wire of the L phase, where, in the same way, the phase should appear only after the switch button is turned on. If on the wire coming out of the ceiling, regardless of the position of the switch, there is a phase all the time, this is bad. Perhaps a mistake was made when connecting the wall switch, in which, instead of breaking the phase by the switch, the neutral wire going to the chandelier was broken. The phase should not be directly connected to the chandelier, this is not permissible, and is fraught with electric shock, for example, when screwing a light bulb into the chandelier. The presence of a permanently connected phase must be eliminated by dealing with the connection of the switch, or with the wiring in the junction boxes. In all modern luminaires, a ground connection is provided, for which a separate ground wire provided in the wiring must be connected to the luminaire body. In old houses, and not only, it happens that the grounding is not divorced. Therefore, there is nothing to connect to the luminaire body. Attention, it is strictly forbidden to connect any other wires, except for the grounding wire, to the case. Using a terminal connector with screw clamps, I connect the wires coming from the chandelier to the wires coming out of the ceiling, just in case, with the help of electrical tape, I additionally insulate the terminal block case, thereby protecting it from possible contact with the chandelier body. Then, having tucked the wires into the upper decorative cup of the lamp, I install the chandelier on a bracket fixed to the ceiling and fix the chandelier to the bar using the decorative nut included in the kit. It remains only to screw in the bulbs. Then, I turn on the power supply to the chandelier in the electrical panel, and check the operation of the lamp by pressing the wall switch. Installing such a luminaire on the ceiling is not at all difficult, the main thing is to observe safety precautions and securely fix the luminaire striker to the ceiling.
Those wishing to independently connect the lamp, it should be understood that all work related to electrical wiring can be dangerous, therefore, in the absence of proper knowledge of electrical and safety precautions, it is better to refuse independent work and entrust the work to a specialist. That's all, subscribe to my channel, I wish you all good luck and see you soon.